This is JR Tech and Software. Hello and welcome back to another video here. In today's video, I'm going to see what happens when you disable all the startup services here in Windows 10. So, essentially what happens with these services and what they're used for is they basically manage the majority of the background things that your computer does while your operating system is running. For example, your audio interfaces might be handled by these services. Bluetooth devices are handled by these services. Maybe some interrupt services, um, as well as more optional stuff like uh, OneDrive might use have a spin up service or your um, browser is probably going to have an update service that gets started with the boot up of your computer. And usually the advice is if, if your computer is running slow, it's booting up slowly, the advice is to go in and turn off some of those unneeded services. But we are going to see what happens when you go too far and completely turn off everything, even the stuff that you should really not turn off. So what we are going to do here is we are going to go ahead and run msconfig here. msconfig is, um, if I can spell it correctly, that would be great. msconfig is a tool here in Windows um, that is going to allow us to basically change um, fundamentals about what happens when our computer starts up here. You can see here that we have this handy dandy option to disable all, so that is exactly what, gonna, what we are going to do. You really should not use that, um, but there we go. All this is turned off. Um, the general rule of thumb in these is that if it is a Microsoft service and you also are reading it and you really don't know what it does, don't touch it. But we are completely ignoring that to see what happens. So we're going to hit apply. And you can see here, <laughs> you got a bunch of text in there. But we're going to hit OK there. And then we are going to go ahead and restart. And we are going to see what happens. How much does this affect our Windows 10 virtual machine here? Of course, do not do this on your um, real computer here. I'm doing this in a virtual machine here. Do not do this on your normal computer. Um, follow the advice that I shared earlier. If you if you are reading the name of it and you have no idea what it is, don't touch it. <laughs> but yeah, we're uh, Windows is booting back up here, and we are going to see what is different. Is it going to go ahead and um, boot up successfully, even, or you know what happens? All right, so we successfully arrived at the login screen here, and I have this set up to just automatically log me in here. Um, so yeah, looking good so far. I am, one of the first things I think I will do is go back, go into that MS config utility there, and um, see um, if anything got changed, if Windows changed anything. Uh, but there we go, we got to the desktop. Uh, just normally here. Um, this virtual machine is quite slow on boot up. You gotta open up a couple of applications here. But the desktop does take a little bit to load and everything. Uh, you can see here our audio is muted and immediately we're detecting problems. That is very interesting. Uh, what do we have here in terms of notifications? Um, no, I don't care about that. But that is our thing is guest edition is going to work because oh, guest editions does work. Go ahead um, and open up Microsoft Edge here, see if there's anything in here. Maybe we can download a virus and see if it will stop it. Um, it's saying that it's not connected to the internet, so that is a quick thing here. Hey, welcome to Windows, but you're not connected to the internet. This is a very old build of Windows. <laughs> if I want run Winver here, you'll see this is 1909. This is, <laughs> I'm running three year old software here, um, but yeah see windows mail here does it want to start up or you know let's see cortana dr cortana yes i want to talk to cortana you can see there that totally doesn't work um let's open up the settings and see if we can do anything about that all right settings launched just fine 
deals. Yeah, I guess she, I don't tr actually turn her off. So let's go ahead and run MS config here. And let's see if it turned on anything. It did turn on some things here. Um, application identity app X deployment service. So if we were able to completely like permanently turn these off, these would probably be the things that um, would stop the operating system from being able to do the majority of the things here. All right, editing version me um, here. From here, I found out about services.msc, which is like a more advanced version of um, msconfig. And I tried to disable things from in here, but that didn't really work. Yielded the same results of msconfig, where um, basically it just denied anything um, that was too protected, like um, some of the more critical services I could not actually um, stop and disable. So yeah, unfortunately I was able, I was not able to disable some of those extra services, but the majority of it was end up being disabled and I would not be posting this video if it was not entertaining. <laughs> so yes, there were some more serious side effects of it. I just had to log out and log back in. And that takes me to where we are now. Some of that I did do, because I was reading online, I did uh, look at the internet about if this was possible and I didn't really find anything. But I, what I did find was someone accidentally did this and they weren't able to log in. So I went ahead and logged it out. Now, unfortunately, I did not set up a password, um, which was also kind of intentional, but yeah. Um, so I did not experience that effect. However, I did want to go into less config. And when I did that, look, <laughs> the service cannot be started e either because it's disabled or because no enabled devices associated with it. <laughs> So that's disabled. I'm kind of wondering if ta task manager is disabled. I wonder if command prompt. You can access the command prompt, but yeah, task gr. You're not going to get that. Um, if, I wonder if we can go to the control panel. We can see the control panel. So that is something. <laughs> uh, let's see here. Uh, let's see if the, we can load up the Microsoft Store and if that's going to bring us anything. Uh, and look from because uh, I can't do that <laughs> because from what it looks like WP or UWP um, apps are all broken. Um, Groove Music, there's no reason Groove Music shouldn't be able to start. Uh, Win32 apps looks like uh, they can um, still be started. I can get a Windows Media Player up here. So I can still listen to some good music. That is, if my audio would have worked. <laughs> um, so yeah, uh, you I so you can still technically use your computer after after this. Technically, uh, it's not a fun experience. Have no sound. Um, any of that, we can still. Um, get on the internet. Well, I guess I haven't checked that. I go to my server here Which is just kind of sitting on my land. Yep um, it is unable to connect and uh, We should be able to see here that we are indeed connected to the internet. I've got my uh, the um, Virtual machine is connected to the internet um, if I run the command prompt here, which is already open, and if I go ahead and ping, um, it's not going to happen. I wonder if we can undo an if config. That's the Linux command, not stat, <laughs> is what I meant. Um, yeah. So, yeah, this is essentially not working. <laughs> um, we can still launch any non-UWP apps that are on the system still. Um, but yeah, the software that we do have on here is able to start on the typical Windows program still in here. You can see uh, Windows Vari, for example, there. Basically, all of our peripherals all don't work. Um, can we control here? Device manager. Yeah, we cannot do my device manager because that's disabled. Um, but yeah, so yeah. 
basically anything any changes to any major settings um that's not in uh that is that would be in the control panel any higher um settings that we would possibly want to change um we cannot do basically so yeah all all this in the settings that still works if we want to change anything further though anything and really anything administrative we cannot do because it's been disabled <laughs> okay there you guys go um so you can technically use your computer after doing this it just has to be in the state it is in we can't have any peripherals here we can't have bluetooth we can't have sound we can't have any networking capabilities um and i believe windows defender is not going to protect you against anything um i can see how it holds up against some malware i guess but i'm not gonna go into that um so yeah there you guys go um, if you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button. And if you like my other videos, then please subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next video.